Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube members. Your support keeps the lights on. If you want to access extra perks like early video access, special emotes and badges, a lounge area in the Discord server, or the ability to choose the next project setting, check the links in the description below. Now, let's get on with the video. What's going on, my kids? Today's it's your favorite great tale, Fox Foxy, come back into the brand new episode of The Sims 2 Werewolf City. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be finishing up the plat map of the city itself. Obviously, there were a few features that I wanted to bring in. I think I mentioned them in the previous episode that had to be cut out due to lack of space out here. And um, the main one of which you're going to notice is the railway. I did try it, though. You'll see it later in the episode. And I promise, I did try it, but... Yeah, there wasn't really kind of like enough space for it, so yeah, definitely something I figured I'd put out there. Also, for anyone wondering why I might sound different or more um, sniffly or something like that than usual, yes, I am sick at the time of recording this. I'm a tough little cookie, though. I will be fine. You kind of give up some kind of like, I'm trying to think here, you kind of give up some luxuries when you're self-employed like I am, so yeah, I just figured I'd get this out there for you guys out here, but anyways, um... We got Werewolf City coming together perfectly, and also I do end up using some of the first road decorations, well, assuming you don't count the bridge and the other side of town out here. And yeah, I am going to get the rest of the road network done as well. The problem right now is I kind of want to focus on the lots starting in the next episode, so you're going to see the lots kind of like become like a primary focus here. And I think they're actually going to look pretty good. I've already got a good idea of what I want Werewolf City to kind of look like. So I think everything will come together absolutely swimmingly. But anyways, right now you can see me enabling Modify Neighborhood Terrain because, um, let's be real. Some of these lots and some of these um, terrain pieces are completely broken. I I'm just going to say it right now. Oh, and not, well, not terrain pieces, road pieces. Road pieces are the word I'm looking for. But some of those are, like, completely broken. And on top of this, too, you can see me, as I said, right here trying to figure out the railroad system. And again, there wasn't really enough space. I, I had to modify the entire area that the river inhabits. And I'm just going to say it right now, it's not really worth my time. Like, when you try to mess with water and terrain, like, especially with modified neighborhood terrain on, it tends to be very broken. But you can see me making several attempts to try to get it to work. It, it just wasn't going to. It wasn't possible. Like, the curb was too wide, and on top of this, too, you didn't really kind of have space for the um, train station. And even if it wasn't, like, wide like that, I don't know. Let me know if there's, like, a way that you guys actually think I could do this in the comments section below. I, I think I might have identified one, but right now there's, like, no railroad out here, so... Yeah, definitely gonna be a problem, but anyways, decided to replace the um, railroad area with mansions instead, because I figured, why the hell not? There really aren't any in the town at the moment, and again, if anyone can figure out why the railroads are behaving like this, please let me know, and I will be more than happy to give them a look and attempt to fix them. But anyways, you can kind of see me working with some stop signs at the moment, you can see me working with some other stuff, and obviously I'm going to be doing custom stop signs. I'm just going to put that out there. There's going to be custom sidewalks, custom stop signs, custom road networks, pretty much custom everything in this town out here too, so... Yeah, get excited for that. There's going to be custom, again, pretty much everything. And I got to say, I've already got a pretty good vision for what this town's going to look like here. So I think it looks pretty good right now. You can see me actually um, trying to create some townhouse areas because one thing you're going to see very commonly in this town, again, is kind of like, you know, semi-detached housing. I'm going to see if I can also mix in some tower blocks. Oh, that would actually be genius, actually mixing in some tower blocks in there. Because if there's one thing I need to take note of, it's the mixing of densities. This is one thing I've been advocating for over here in North America for a while. I'm not inspiring this from North America build, just for the record, but I'm still not telling you exactly what's going on yet. I'm going to let a certain one figure it out and comment on it. I'm going to let that happen on its own before I say even a word. But anyways, you know, I, I do need to figure out how to do that because that actually is something that's pretty common in the place I'm inspiring this build from. But anyways, right now you can actually see me working on what's eventually going to become the trailer park holy crap almost had a major coughing fit there that would not have been good i'm trying to do this without having that happen so um come on foxy you only got three more minutes in the commentary at most and then it's on to the cinematics and actually i do want to talk about that too but yeah we're kind of like working on the trailer park i'm gonna talk about this first you gotta set your priorities straight people but anyways um we're kind of working on the trailer park first and it took me a few tries to get exactly what i wanted down but Eventually, I kind of did figure it all out right about now, so I think the trailer park does actually look pretty good. You can see me like working with some 
lots out here. And of course we hit the lot 69. And then that's when I end up forgetting what lot exactly that I'm on. So I kind of had to um, redraw some plans out here. I didn't want to use two by twos. I didn't want each trailer to be kind of like, you know, its own lot, but I did not really have much of a choice in the matter. If you haven't figured it out by this point, it's not really the um, most ideal situation out here because that means a lot more chances for the game to crash whenever you're working on something. Although that can happen literally at any point too. I could be in the middle of building a lot and then the application has crashed and will now terminate. So yeah, that's definitely something. And that's probably one of the most annoying things of playing Sims 2 with mods. Just trust me, it's the only real reason I'm not a big, like it's the only reason that people are not a big fan of mods out here too, at least I would think. Well, outside of security issues, we all know about that whole fastmath.dll thing. We all know about that that happened with, um, I think both City Skylines 2 and SimCity 4, there was a bit of a um, lesser publicized incident with the Network Adam mod for SimCity 4. That's another reason people generally tend to shy away from mods, but personally, and I don't know if it's just me here, but I kind of like the idea of like, you know, being able to customize things. That's kind of one of the big draws for Sims 2. And I still remember when I was like super young, I was kind of like, you know, discovering mods for like the first time out here. But yeah, when I saw like someone made a full-fledged McDonald's with branding and everything in Sims 2, I knew I just had to get into modding. It took a while for me to eventually figure out what was going on, but eventually I did kind of get into modding and I kind of like it, you know? Kind of leads to the builds looking a lot better out here too, so pretty excited for that. I also forgot what I was supposed to talk about earlier. Um, see, that's the only problem with me deciding what to prioritize out here is because, um, I may forget what I'm talking about previously, or may forget what I was trying to bridge over to previously, and obviously, you know, being autistic, yeah, that's definitely a problem in its own right. But anyways, um, we got this um, seawall going up out here, and I think it does look pretty good, got this little seawall and everything. Oh man, it complements the cruise ship terminal so freaking nicely out here, but yeah. You might notice we make a few changes to the plot maps in coming episodes, so... As I said before, I kind of want to mix in some higher density out here, kind of mix in some tower blocks or some residential, and I can go up to 16 floors, interestingly enough. I'm not really sure if it's even possible to do that, but my fox, it's kind of something out here. But anyways, um, we're just about getting to the end of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing my sign offs. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now, and have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you may be, don't be off to cinematics now.